Hare Krishna. The next question, uh, how can we experience Krishna's law? This is Shami Krishidas. We can experience uh, Krishna's law by if we know, understand the nature of Krishna. If you read the scriptures and we see, it's not that I am very rich and uh, so richness may not be a mercy. It is maybe uh, a sign of that you have done something piety and you enjoy. But piety and impiety, both are the same, are like the two sides of the same token, same kind. Uh, because those are all temporary. But Krishna's law, we understand that our mind is away from temporary material objects. We think of Krishna. Man mana bhav mad bhakto. We become his devotee. We pay obeisances. We serve Krishna's devotees. We get a spiritual master. We chant his holy name. We read his scriptures. That means, uh, so Krishna consciousness. Uh, uh, Experience a Krishna, we can experience a Krishna's law not by the opulence but by seeing that our uh, spirit soul is very, very happy and it is continuous. It is a hatu ki a pratihata, there is no interruption and it is without any uh, material motivation and our soul would be happy. Like in electricity, everything is good. Means there is light bulbs and wires and switches, everything is nice. But when it is connected to the electric, uh, uh, to the, uh, to the, elect, uh, when it is connected to the powerhouse, then everything works properly. So powerhouse of all the uh, happiness, uh, that is Krishna. So Krishna is raso vaisa, ras means bliss. We are all looking for bliss or ananda. So if we are fully satisfied in any situation, we don't worry about any material upheavals, uh, happiness and distress and uh, progress or no progress or promotion. If, in any situation, uh, if somebody is uh, utilizing us or somebody is deriding us, if one is uh, without any changes in the life like without any upheavals he remains equanimity equal samta if he is in that condition then we understand that that he is dear to krishna that is there is krishna's law or he has gained the law of krishna we can understand and also we have to read the scripture and we will understand what is krishna's law krishna's law is there that he gives us shelter he gives us he provides out of his law but he comes also in form of deities in form of a scripture in form of holy places in form of holy river in form of uh, uh, gurus saints so he comes in many many forms that is also law of krishna and as i said that he has he goes with us to any place even in the in hell also he goes with us so that is also out of his law that he does it and he reminds us that what is good and what is bad. But if we don't listen to him, as a super soul, he gives us the intelligence, what is good for you. But if we don't listen to him, then naturally uh, we will stop uh, thinking of him or we will stop looking at him. Like two birds are sitting in a tree. One bird uh, is a uh, witness bird, like the super soul. And another bird is who is enjoying the bitter and sweet fruits of a tree. Uh, but he is ready to give us instruction at any time. And he is looking at us, but we don't look at him. And we are always as absorbed in eating our, eating the fruits of our work but rather than eating the fruits of our work we should be look for krishna on his mercy on his law on his uh, compassion uh, and uh, once we look for that then we will see plenty of things that krishna loves us so much he is so merciful he is so kind he is my eternal father he is my shelter he is my samambonam tomeva mata shapita tomeva tomeva bandusha sakha tomeva tomeva vidya adraminam tomeva tomeva sarvam mama deva deva so that is love of krishna thank you